Jaden YouTube channel. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my Booster Jaden YouTube channel. Now today we are going to be doing the PA system. It was supposed to be last week, but it's now this week. I've gotten very distracted by pulling the car apart a little bit. And I've already found some other stuff wrong with it. But I'm actually going to film that separate. We're just going to get on with the PA in this one. And then midweek you'll have another video on the condition of the Daily Swift. Let's do it. I saved some time by removing the front bumper. And like I said, I'm not showing you what I've found. I just want to get on with the install. So I need to still remove this. Because in order to get to those wires, I need to take that off. So I'm going to quickly hyperlapse. In fact, I'm not even going to hyperlapse it. I'm just going to remove it, and then I'm going to come back when I've done it. With it all dismantled, had to pull that off. I actually noticed that, see look, water's pooling on top of it. So we're going to have to put some silicon on that to try and seal it up. That one's okay. Good thing is that they haven't come apart in one week of driving the vehicle very relieved back to the PA system there's four wires here the two green ones are for the speaker itself I want to use a voltmeter and see if this is a good earth this one it will reach to here but in saying that it means that I've got to run a really untidy wire around the engine bay and these need to be cut off and redone. I mean, look at that. What's that earthing? It ain't earthing anything. And also, the power one isn't much better. So we need to put them on eye bullets. That stupid broken piece. Unbelievable, isn't it? How they fall apart as they get older. Oh, I'm in the wrong game, I tell you. With me, with my paranoia working on these cars, if I see even one thing, it'll keep me up at night. Anyways, back to focus. I just put a cable tie on that to hold it in place so that it's not moving around back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this in the pod and I'm going to crimp up some wires. Using my voltmeter, I'm going to undo these and I'm going to turn it around until it's on the ohms, which it is, OL. Put the light on and I'm going to test to see if this is a good earth. So let's put it on here. <laughs> Kidding, just making sure that. I'm putting it on the right one, and it's zero, zero. I don't know if you can see the screen there, but it comes down to zero. Can you see it? Sort of. I'll zoom it in. Put it down. So I'm going to put it on the earth itself. So red one to the one that I want to use, and then the other one to the battery. Or to anything really, anything metal. Maybe in the engine bay here. Oh, well, the throttle body's not a good one to use. What about a fender bolt? Yep. Battery? Yep. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do there's a bolt over here to change the earth to make it easier and clean it in the engine bay. So this wire would actually connect up to here. So I'm gonna put a little eyelid on it, undo that bolt and put it on there. Or I could put an additional bolt onto that bolt to then secure it, one or the other, I'll work it out. These need to be cut and these need to be cut and we need to extend those wires because they're going down to hopefully down to here but I don't know I need to work it out off camera and work out what I'm gonna do and then I'll come back when I've got it all sorted and planned out right so I've mounted the actual speaker here and it says on the top here may cause hearing damage wear hearing protection 
made in the USA. It's actually off a police car. It's made by a brand called Whelan. It says Whelan on the back of it, which is interesting. I haven't even Googled it, but I'm sure it's the real deal. Anyways, I've bolted it straight through the radiator support. Like, it's not coming off. And then I've had to trim this piece. So I've had to cut it out to fit. It never fit that good in the first place. So I added a cable tie there, drilled a hole, added the cable tie here. And then I added one down here just to make sure that it didn't move. I didn't want to take it right out because that just really didn't sit right with me. And then I ran the cables down the front here along the rail. And then they're going to go up into the headlight. And then we're going to then add on crimpy connectors to our two PA speaker units there. Which we're going to do that on the camera. And then we're going to do the positive in earth. And then hopefully it works. The megaphone itself, excuse this mess, the megaphone itself has a speakerphone, which is right here, which this will need to go into the car as well in order to have loudspeaker. And then, you know, the usual, just add it on crimps, heat shrink, cable ties, there was a little break in the wire there, so I tidied that up and then just taped it shut, which it should be all right. I noticed that there's a lot of loose plastics going on in the Daily Swift. I mean, TM Swift actually doesn't have any of these plastics. They're all long removed. Apart from the bottom piece, which even that one doesn't sit very good. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is the PA system. So like I said, speaker down here. And then we're going to be working up here. I'll put the camera in the pod. We'll splice up and crimp on those wires. And then we're hopefully going to get it going. Now I'm going to take some scissors. And this is like far too long. So I'm going to cut it there throw that wire over there and then I'm going to just pull the end off which I like to use scissors for this just tidy it up all nicely and then grab a blue connector which will then go on take the crimp tool, line it in and then crimp it down and then for good measure I always move it over just a millimetre and crimp it down again because last thing you want is for it to come off that's on that ain't coming off which one's which I actually don't know so we're just going to be taking a complete stab in the dark but before we do that let's just put that there and the other one that we're actually adding on to is here and this one will reach both, just. Same thing, cut the end off it, and then cord it all up nicely. And then I'm going to take another cable joiner, I suppose you could call it. Before I do, I'm just gonna shave it down a little bit. Put it on. I need to put it in the right hole and then crimp it down and then over two millimeters, well more like one, and then crimp it again and that gives hopefully a good connection and then we're going to take our two green wires and we're just going to open them up a little bit so one here make it all nice and 
together and then I'm going to tape the other one and do the exact same thing and then we're going to take one of the two wires which which one is longer this one so we'll stick that in and I'm actually really hoping that this will work I don't even know if the PA system will still work it's been removed for quite some time but that's all about the risk and the gamble when you're dealing with aftermarket goodies and then I'm going to put it in and I'm going to quickly crimp it down before it falls out and then crimp it again I probably over crimped and I forgot to put the heat shrink on great it's alright we'll use installation tape it's only for speaker it's not live power and then we're going to take our next one we need to shave down the excess and then we're going to put it in when it's all nice and straight of course we're then going to stick it in Hopefully, that will be enough to get it going. But before I do, I'm going to stick this piece of heat shrink over it. And then at least one of them has got heat shrink. Otherwise, I've got to then cut it and rejoin it. And that's just, you know, cable joiners are very valuable. I've only got three left. Out of a whole brand new box that I only opened new when I started doing the fan controller wiring for the TM Swift. There is an update on a fan controller actually, but not in this video. We'll talk about it in another one. Pull that to the top there, and then using a lighter, which I'll just grab, I'll take my lighter, and all I'm going to do is heat it up. So that it melts onto it. Keep it all on. That one should be alright. We'll end up cable tying them anyways. And now next part is to actually tidy it up. But I can do that off camera. You just don't need to see all the boring stuff. And then the next step is to adjust the camera. And then we're coming over to the battery area here. And we're going to cut this off, throw it on the floor to be cleaned up later. And then I'm going to shave off the top like I do with them with the scissors. So I see it there. And then crimp it right down until she ain't coming off and then release pretty dodgy but you know what it'll get the job done and that's all that anyone can ever ask for and then that will get attached onto a bullet there somehow or maybe even onto that one take that bolt off and add it on and then this one, I'm going to see if I can find a bolt to put it on there. If not, then we're going to have to add it back to the battery. Now we're going to take the earth cable and we're going to cut it down to about there. I'm going to cut all of that off because I'm actually going to be re-earthing it else. Okay, that is much better. And now right where that bar is, is where I'm going to put my hand to do this. I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to stick the wire into it until I see it come through the other end. And then we're just going to... Okay, so it went sideways, that's not meant to happen. So I need to release it a little bit. And then reposition it. 
action. Okay, that didn't work either. Or did it? Okay, it's sketchy, so. to here and I'm going to attempt to crush it down again I don't think you're meant to crush them but you know what it's an earth and I actually really don't care I just want my pH system to work we're going to attach the earth to there and then I'm going to add on the screw which can you see where that screw is yes not perfect but almost and then we're going to screw it on and then i'm going to grab a 10 mil and we're going to tighten that up and then we're going to add the one onto the battery I can get it level. We're going to add it on to the battery as well, the power one. To do that, I need to loosen off this wire until I can then unscrew it completely. And then we're going to grab wherever the power one went. going to add it on to the battery like so you'll notice that there isn't a fuse on it it doesn't matter because it's already fused before it goes into the unit itself and then tighten it down okay well that ain't going anywhere like it'll take a big thing to pull that out and just for good measure on the camera here I'll tighten this one down as, as well and that ain't coming off next thing to actually do before I tidy anything up is to that wouldn't give me my phone back is to now jump into the cabin of the car oh okay I'm in and then I'm gonna zoom you in oh okay So it looks like it is working. So what I need to actually do now is I need to get the megaphone, attach it, and then clean up the engine bay wiring because it is a mess. Reattach all the pieces that are everywhere, clean up my workshop, and then we'll take it out for a test and we'll go and see what it's like somewhere low key. Although... Oh, we can do, yeah, we'll, we'll do that bit after. So I'm going to hyperlapse putting the whole thing back together and tidying up the wires. And then we're going to then go from there. <laughs> put back together we can grab the microphone 
which the microphone's the most exciting bit for me. This was why I got it. We don't need the key because it runs independently. So we in a little bit. And then all I'm gonna do is plug it in. Grab the megaphone. Go. Okay, it works, which is quite cool. Yo. Okay, so I need to work out some things to say on it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cable in there. I put that there because then it stops the pulling on the megaphone wire itself. Just by creating a bit of a gap there, and then this way, when I actually pull on it, see, it doesn't come off. It doesn't yank the wire here, damaging it, because you know what aux cords are like after a few years, they get damaged. So what I'll probably do is put the hood down, move the car back, lock up the house, lock up the garage, and then we'll go take this thing for a little run and see if we can use all of the functions and get it to work well. Well, it already works, we know that, but you know what I mean. Well, I found somewhere quite low key to do this. So we're gonna turn on the megaphone. I'm gonna hold the phone out the window. <laughs> That's the horn one. That's the siren horn. That's like another type of a horn. Those are accessory switches for uh, maybe a light bar. And then there's still no one coming, so this is walkie one. Walkie one. cool functions on there including who saved that not kind of been me and we've got a car coming so I have to hold off a second but once it's gone past exactly what it's supposed to and I actually quite like this megaphone for what it's worth it's a cool little add-on to a Swift now that I've got it I couldn't be without it that's gonna do it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it hit the thumbs up button if you didn't enjoy it for whatever reason hit the thumbs down button I tried to include the installation I tried to cut out as much of it as I can. It was like a two hour video, but I clipped it down to about a 22 minute. I don't know what the final product's gonna be as I'm doing this out part, but probably 23, 24. Also follow me on Instagram if you're not currently, link will be on the screen here and in the description box. I post far more there than I do anywhere else. Also subscribe to this channel if you're not currently because every single subscriber helps boost my confidence and helps me to make these videos possible. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.